What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft. We are seven of eight in the queue. And uh, here we go. There, there it is. Life uh, finds a way. Life is not finding a way right now. Oh, what up, Yui? If that is your real name, which I know it is not. <laughs> what do we got here? What do we got here? Palantir, Grim Monolith, Teferi. Uh, Torsten's been pretty good. Ledger Shredder. I think I'm just going to stick with Monolith. It's been a while since I picked a Monolith. Snow on the forecast, bundled up vintage cube. <laughs> yeah, that's it. We're going to take... Oh, look at this guy. And this guy. And this guy. Oh, buttery biscuits. What can we emrical? Can't tinker it. Can't reanimate it, really. You can throw the breach it, but that's also in this pack. <sighs> what up, Shady Raven? Doomsday or no balls? Grandma, please. Good gravy. Thank you. Orzo with the gifted sub. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, God. It's one of these three for me. Ugh. I'm going to take the Emrakul. It's been a while since we Emrakuled. Let's see if we can do anything with an Emrakul. I don't know if we can. Oh, we can take a Zerda, which is now infinite mana. That lets us cast Emrakul. Oh, that's interesting, right? Yeah, two to untap, make three. Okay, we're going to take this Zerda here. Okay. The magic is happening. The gathering of magic is happening. Simply having a wonderful magic time. The mood is right. Ding a ding. Natural order is interesting. Shieldred is interesting. This is a good pack. Shouldered, Workshop, Valky, Natural Order, Isika's Chariot's even very good. Lorien Revealed. <sighs> Can't even Companion. <laughs> you know, maybe. I don't think it's Mishra's Workshop. I'm tempted to just take Shouldered. And then we can be Red Black. We could also take Lorien Revealed. I think Shoulder's just got to be better, right? Helm does make uh, Emrakul 14 mana. That's a good point. Did you see the message on Facebook a week or so? I did not. Did you send it to my public page or my personal page? I never check my public page. I just don't really use it as much. I don't dislike these. Oh, my, my car's extended warranty. Yeah, that checks out. Yeah, no, I must have missed it. But I, I would like to discuss it. Um, you know, I've been really, I've been growing more concerned over my car. I think it's, uh, I think it could use a little work. So I'd really appreciate uh, if my extended warranty was still in effect. You know, which is funny because... I think most of the people they're calling don't actually... I'm like, bitch, I bought my car in 2009 in cash. Or it was like 2012, I think. I think it was 2012 in cash. From like a deal, from like a, a local dealer. Like, I assure you my car does not have an extended warranty, moron. What's the premium on Smuggler's Copter? Hmm. It's got to be bad. That thing gets in a lot of wrecks. Do you think this next pack is coming? Hard to say. Thank God we made it. 
Uh, Goblin Engineer, kind of interesting. It lets us put a Grim Monolith in the graveyard and then, like, sacrifice something to get it back. Imperial Seal, also fine. Unlicensed Hearse, also fine. I kind of feel like Engineer is the, is the play here. It also puts other artifacts in the graveyard as well, so like it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be a grim a grimothy. Like if we get any kind of animation. Uh I like manifold key, but I do like restless men's a little better. I think having the good mana is nice. Blight Steel Colossus, also a card we could make infinite mana with. Doesn't really do much if you put it into the graveyard. This guy's also pretty decent in the graveyard. Hmm. Yeah, you just can't reanimate that guy. I think we're just taking the dragon engine. A channel. Card's very good. We're gonna take a triplicate titan though. We're already committed to this red black strategy we got going here. Plus you can put that guy in the graveyard to reanimate. If if we get a, if we see a tinker, we're definitely taking a tinker. If we see a Basalt Monolith, we're definitely taking a Basalt Monolith. Wow, Smuggler's Copter at $420.69 a month. Nice. Uh, we can just take a hanger back. We can also sacrifice a hanger back to get something big back, which is pretty nice. This is looking good for an artifact. Just a little, little artifact start. Misha's Factory, Grim Lava Mancer. Factory is a guy we can sacrifice. I actually, that's that's actually kind of good. Kappa Cannoneer. Whenever you cast an artifact spell, it gets a plus one plus one counter. It's not whenever you play. Whenever an artifact comes into play. Not the plague, you definitely do not have to apologize for that, buddy. I think we're just taking Massacre Girl. Like, it's a card we can cast, and it was actually pretty good for us the other time. Thank you. I mean, I don't hate Helm, but I don't love it either. A Seekish Chariot being one green just might be worth taking. Eh, I'll take a Damnation. I'll hate this Nissa and an Elspeth, all right. Would have loved to see through the breach or Misha's workshop come back, but we did not. Orzo with a gifted sub to to the to not the plague. Really appreciate you, buddy. Orzo single handedly keeping our subscriber count alive. Oh, a mana a mana crypt. That's not only good to make mana with. It's also good to sacrifice. I mean, this pack is really good. There's Blood Crypt, Fable, Jace, Balance, Metamorph, Lauren. I mean, if if Blood Crypt or Fable comes back, I'll be very grateful, but we're definitely taking Mana Crypt. I just want the two crypts, you know. 23? Jesus. I'm not used to people so old being, being viewers, you know. Got, got Grandpa Plague over here. I think we're just taking Ragavan. That card is muy bueno. Golos is cool. We don't have the mana base to really support. Yeah, it's just Ragavan. <laughs> come on. Eh, come on. It's it's just a Ragavan. <sighs> Lightning Greaves is interesting. Raptor is cool. I like a Raptor. I like an Ugin. I think Ugin could be good. We are missing quite a few things to make this deck any good, though. I feel like Lightning Greaves on Shieldred is just pretty good, though. I kind of like Greaves. Like, Greaves Shouldered or Greaves Zerta. Yeah, I'm going to take the Greaves. That's a, that's a controversial pick, I think, but that's okay. I think it's a good one. I like Phyrexian Flesh Gorger quite a bit. 
It's also a nice three drop. I mean, I would love some reanimate spells. That would be great. Because I do like... <laughs> Goblin Engineer is kind of like a two mana entomb where you're putting like Triplicate Titan or Flesh Gorger in the graveyard and getting them back. Yeah, if Duress or Shieldbreaker or even like Synthesizer comes back. But this guy's also just a good three drop. Oh, Bloodstained Mire? We're definitely taking Bloodstained Mire. I would love this Karn, but I don't think we can pass a sick Bloodstained Mire. It also keeps us open for other colors if we get them. Let's sort by mana value and put all... Oh, God. Oh, God, don't do that. Mana value. Put this guy over... Oh, my God, why are you doing that? Sort by mana value. Oh, this keeps just keeps doing that. Okay, great. Let me put this back, see if that reset it. Okay, good, we did it. We figured out the hack. You're a three drop. Okay. <laughs> eh, Steel Seraph is a guy. Faithless Looting is a guy. I kind of like Baleful Mastery here. Um, Yoggmoth Hanger back is interesting. It might actually be just a damnation deck. Yeah, I do like mastery. I think it's good removal. We don't have a ton of removal right now. So. Fallen Shinobi, what are you doing? What are you doing? Sacrifice five treasure tokens. I actually feel like Magda might be decent here. Like, we, what, what's our treasure engine? We have Ragavan makes treasures, Magda makes treasure, treasures, a bit my tongue almost. Um, that's about it, but if we can find another way to tap Magda. I like Bone Shards, but I think Magda might be the right pick. Delayed Blast Fireball, that's interesting. Coalition Relic also not bad. Hmm. Goblin Welder. Goblin Welder is actually the pick, right? We're putting cards in the graveyard and then we're bringing them back. Yeah, all right. I'm surprised they almost overlooked Goblin Welder, but I think it's a it's a pretty innocuous... Oh, nothing came back. That's sad. It's a pretty innocuous card that, like, you don't often gravitate towards. That's really sad. Uh, if the triggered ability of another creature you control the chosen type triggers, that doesn't do anything. I guess we can choose Human Assassin or Phyrexian Praetor. That doesn't do anything. Um, field doesn't do anything. Throne plus Shieldred? Oh, that's interesting. I don't think it's any good. I'd almost rather have Bivouac. It lets us possibly splash for some, some white cards. That is a late Golos. I don't think we're hard of Kiernan. I think we just take the Golos here. Ugin came back. That's fascinating. I kind of like that. I think I like it more than Porcelain Legionnaire. Oh, Synthesizer. Okay, sure. That's not nothing. Uh, I do like Scale Lord. I think we've already passed Dark Depths. I'll take Scale Lord in case we splash it. Wow, that's a late Crater Hoof. Like, I could see just, like, splashing Guardian Scale Lord and getting back some of the things we put in the graveyard. For sure. For sure. We also have Bloodstained Mire if we can get like a Plateau or a Scrubland or a Godless Shrine or something. I'm wondering, that is an artifact. Hellrider, Blood Chief's Thirst, Grief. Being able to sacrifice the One Ring to multiple multiple artifacts here is or multiple creatures here is pretty good. <sighs> oh, MTG Pyro, what up, my dude? Yeah, I think we're just taking the One Ring. Um, I, I think Grief is also very very strong, but I don't think I could pass a One Ring in an artifact deck. Yeah, this Thank is you. this is a little. Oh my god, dude, MTG Pyro. You're literally going to go bankrupt this month. Unbelievable. Thank you. <laughs> oh, one ring and shouldered is pretty good. 
All right, I'll take four. I'll draw five. I'll gain ten. Okay, I'll take five. I'll draw six, gain Dang. twelve. Oh, that seems unsustainable. Is it just is it just pyrite spell bomb? That doesn't seem that good, right? Did you pyro? Really appreciate you, buddy. You are single handedly paying my rent this month, Thank so you. Thank you, my dude. I do not think we're a cleave deck. I really don't want to second pick a, f a pyrite spell bomb here. Oh god, that feels bad. I also don't think it's Sundering Titan. Uh, I think it's just a cheap artifact that's that goes well with like Goblin Welder or Engineer, I guess. I do like an Ancient Tomb. Sword of the Meek is interesting, but we don't have any of the other components. Haunted Ridge is nice. I think I actually like Ancient Tomb more than um, Haunted Ridge here. Show and tell would be cute if we actually had ways to cast it, but I don't think we're there. Oh, we didn't see Dark Depths. Maybe I was mistaken. Clearly I was mistaken, not maybe. So that's interesting. Kind of wishing I took the... Oh, and there's a Thespian Sage in the same pack, so... You know, someone's going to enjoy that. Graveyard Trespasser is just a good dude. Talisman of Conviction, also interesting. Let's us keep the, the White Splash if we want. Or we can take Dark Depths and hope Thespian Stage comes back. Or take Thespian Stage, hope Dark Depths comes back, and then we have Golos for it. I'm going to do that. We'll see if that does anything. Here's Proving Ground. I actually kind of like Proving Ground here. It's a dual land. We can get it with Bloodstained Mire. And nothing else is really... Like, the only other card I could even see taking is Dreams, but, like, that's not... Basalt Monolith, a second infinite mana rock. That's pretty good. And thorough. <laughs> Solid Big Lebowski reference. He's a good man, Jeffrey. And thorough. This pack is pretty good. Why can't I get two cards from this pack? Flames on Kavu, Lelia, Mystic Forge, Sovereign. It's definitely Lelia, I believe. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten artifacts. We don't have a ton of artifacts yet. Lately, it's just a busted card. Thank you. Roar, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back, my dude. Really appreciate it. Oh, Fatal Push? Yeah, I'll take a Fatal Push. <sighs> this pack's pretty, pretty bad. Um, Hell Rider? Pyrokinesis? I just wouldn't play Pyrokinesis. Maybe I will. Whatever. And then you got like Wandering Emperor, Evolve Sleeper. I guess we'll just take Evolve Sleeper. Haunted Ridge came back. Beautiful. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Um, I wish we had more re some reanimate stuff here, but I think we're just going to lean on infinite mana with Zerda and Basalt and Grim. Because this is a fine 23, and if we also get Dark Depths, we have Thespian Stage, Dark Depths, and Golos to go search it out. So, I don't know. Fingers crossed. Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. I like Trespasser a lot, but I'm just going to take the Dark Depths here. Now we have combo. We do need one cut here. And I'll take a Grist. We have a Zeotaurus Proving Ground, so... Easy green splash. So, out, out, out. This is 24. I do like Walker because it's an easy sacrifice for... Engineer or Welder. And I just think it's a nice cheap, nice cheap card to 
Man, too bad we didn't get that through the breach, you know? I, I mean, I, I could see cutting Ugin. I think we just have a lot of expensive cards. And Ugin's one of the few... Like, if we're going to get infinite mana, I'd rather I'd rather make Emrakul. And, but Ugin's in. Ugin's good. Well, Crypt is going in there, but it's also going to be a land. Mana Crypt is going in, but I'm going to play it as a land because it makes two mana. That's why I'm not playing Dark Depths as a land, because it makes no mana. Uh, actually, probably Mandic Damnation. Yeah, that seems fine. We have Massacre Girl, too, so... And we have a good amount of removal between Fatal Push, uh, Pirate Spell Bomb, Baleful Mastery. This guy's more like a three drop. Yeah, that seems good. Let's take Bivouac out. All right, sort by color. Not a ton of either color, which is nice. All right, Ancient Tomb, Factory, Depths, Stage. So pretty much all of our lands are just red or black. Oh, two white, huh? Nope. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus we got Mana Crypt. We have a lot of colorless mana too. Um, the only double black is Shoulder. The only double red is Zerda. I, and Massacre Girl, obviously. But I mean, we don't need it to like... This actually seems fine. Seventeen lands, which is actually sixteen functional lands, plus mana crypt, fatal push. Yeah, all right. We shall see if this artifact deck does anything. Our first artifact deck, we were trying out some of the new cards, did not do very well. All right, let's do it. Do it to it. Like Jennifer Love Hewitt. Hmm. Fascinating. Well, this is a three land hand. Goblin Welder is interesting. I don't even know if we lead with a Goblin Welder. It doesn't do much is the problem. Like, we need multiple cards for this to be good. We need multiple cards for this guy to be good. We need one more card for this to be good. We got a lot of draws here. They went to six. We'll see what happens. Okay. Interesting. Do we just goblin weld here? Sure, why not? I actually think Hangerback gave this hand a little bit of a little bit of oomph, you know. You got it. Sure. Shark Typhoon and Time Warp. Good to know. Hmm. Fantastic. If only Ugin was a creature. <laughs> Oh, that would be nice. Uh, I guess we take four here. I don't really want a Baleful Master and let them draw a card.
That's interesting. Just pass. End of turn. Urtai. Fascinating. Can I get rid of my goblin welder? Yeah, that's fine. I get to draw a card? Sure. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's a guy, all right. That is a guy. This feels like this deck feels like it kind of didn't come together like it wanted to. It really wanted to come together, but it just didn't. Night's Whisper, sure. Thank you. Orzo, thank you for the gift of subs, Meddy. Oh, you're gonna heading out, huh? What about our cozy little stream? Thank you. Have a good night, buddy. Really appreciate the gifted subs. God, they're doing so many things right now. Got a regular island. Just a good old-fashioned island. I'm just going to activate here. Magda. Liquid hot Magda. Well, shoot. We are in awkward shape here, it looks like. I'm gonna play the Depths. I'm gonna play Magda here. Keep up Mishra's Factory and Baleful Mastery if we want it. All right, well. Sword of the Meek. <laughs> yeah, we know where that's going. Sure. Five, five, huh? Five five with two cards in hand. There's a fatal push we needed. Uh, I think we're just taking five here. Just gonna move the sword, maybe. They did not even move the sword. This walker's getting pretty big. Oh, basalt monolith. Five treasures, huh? This guy doesn't make treasures when he dies, right? Yep, all right. So, yeah, that's fine. Very strange you did not put the sword on there, though. I didn't counter that either. One, two, three, four, five, we have six mana now. That's not a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, eight mana. My bad. I counted this as one, not three. Sure. Hmm. 
What are they? So nine mana. We could play Gorger here. Still keep up two. One, two, three, four. Cast him as a man. Yeah, of course they have a counter spell. They're sitting on three cards and doing nothing. Yep. That is unfortunate. Give me a Zerta off the top. Yeah, five cards. It's a good amount. That's pretty good. They've drawn... It looks like eight more cards than we have. Between Knight's Whisper, uh, Cycling with Lorraine, Drawing with Remand. Thought Scouring took away three. Hmm. Guess we'll attack first, right? I wonder if we should have attacked with Misha's Factory too, putting them to two. Oh, they just like F6 here. Um, yeah, let's just put Dragon Engine in there. Because next turn, that's a dude, right? All right, fingers crossed they don't have something game winning under the Shell Dock Isle. Oh, this just has to enter from the graveyard. So if I Goblin Engineer, does that work? Goblin Engineer. Dragon Engine. Is that what it's called? First in Dragon Engine? Yeah. Interesting. That feels like it should work. Oh, they're not attacking this time. That seems good for us. Interesting. They have four cards. They just didn't do anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Really? I tapped this for mana. Oh, and did I tap it then play a land? I don't know. Yes, I did. No, I don't know. I might have. I might have tapped and played a land. What's the best? Oh, my God, there's such a sequencer. Like, I think unearthing it is actually pretty good because we get the damage in. But I also do want to play Flesh Gorger, too. So, three... Let's just cast. Need two more. Okay, let's draw. Oh, that's interesting. I played my land. I mean, I'm curious if there was a way to win this turn, but then again, they're at like four and they have infinite mana and four cards in hand.
Our board seems pretty good. I assume there's some sort of damnation coming. Yep. There it is. Wrath of God. Okie dokie. I mean, if they don't have much else, we can dash Ragavan, and we have Lelia, and we have Mishra's Factory on board, so... So we have one, two for that, and then one, two, three. So one, two, three for Lelia. See if this does anything, huh? Oh, the One Ring Exile, that's sad. Well, what can you do? They also did not equip Jace with Sword, which is fascinating. Sure. It's got to be a creature, or else they would have played it before Damnation. Like, they knew they were in a Damnation. Necromancy. <sighs> Getting back. Flesh Gorger. That's two blocks, and then they just kill us on the crackback. Well, that was sad. What? Oh, it's got lifelink. <laughs> it's like, oh, good times. I forgot it had lifelink. Hooray. Yep. <sighs> good times. Yep, I lose because I'm at exactly seven life and they hit a necromancy. Fantastic. Yeah. I mean, all in all, that wasn't even... A, I feel like that wasn't even that good of a draw for us. This is interesting. I'll keep this. Is it just Ancient Tomb and the Greaves? Maybe. This coming into play tapped is, is awkward. Because it means we can't like turn three something if we hit it. Which makes me wonder if it's just Restless Fence Mountain Greaves. Because this is going to cost double black. Yeah, we're just going to play that. If this doesn't do anything like we're not gonna get anything off of it it's gonna be oh that's being staged that's interesting huh oh greaves though that's fascinating Hmm. If we draw another black, we can play Flesh Gorger. If we draw Mana Crypt, we can just Dark Depths and win. <laughs> so that seems pretty neat. Baby woke up. Had to get him back to sleep. What did I miss? <laughs> oh, a little JC, huh? Oh, it's a little JC. Um. Yeah, this is actually correct because we need two mana in this anyway. So we can just play Flesh Gorger here as a prototype. And then next turn we can Depths, activate Merit Lage, instant speed. If they tap out, it's going to be an actual bloodbath. Huh. Oh, huh. yeah, it's got to be Greaves. That's sad. Sad. Very sad. Basalt Monolith. Well, let us attack here. 
Actually, we can play Ancient Tomb and go Masker Girl. It kills everything, though, right? It goes one damage kills this guy, two damage kills this guy, three damage kills our own Gorger. It's not terrible, though. Like, their, their creatures are pretty good. I guess we just Merit Lage, though, right? <laughs> uh, two three red two three black and red insect with menace that loots I guess it rummages because you have to discard first hmm. that's pretty good that's pretty good one two activate can't do that well, they're not already dead yet, unfortunately. Caracas was a fantastic draw. <sighs> That's a bummer. We can find... Why don't you come with me, little girl? I think we just copy the Caracas. I mean, that seems pretty good when both of our creatures are legendary. Oh, Ragavan. Raggles McBraggles. You know what's the best? When they play a Caracas and then you draw your one legendary creature. Oh, this is going to be a bloodbath. We get to draw a card from the Flesh Gorger, and then we get to... Oh, they get to pay life. <laughs> they have to pay three. Go to ten. Sure. And we get a card. Oh, boy. Yep, that's going to be good. Welcome to the bloodbath. Yeah, draw your card. You got it. Hope it's a force of will. It was not. <laughs> and then we get to play Shielder, but keep up Caracas. That seems really good. Jeez. Oh, they already get to keep up their Caracas. That seems really bad. Yeah, our last two draws were legendary creature, legendary creature when they have Caracas out. So I don't know. Is the universe a simulation? Probably. Fantastic. I mean, do I just get in there with Restless McBestless? Hmm. Hmm. Like, is there value to, like, baiting out their Caracas with a Shieldred only to, to dash Ragavan? There's, like, no way we get to go to the next phase, right? Yeah, I mean, if we dash and cast, that's fine. But, like, then they just untap and bounce this anyway. But I guess I guess at that point, like, they've lost. They don't get to do it next turn? I don't know. Maybe that's fine. I also played my land first. Like... <laughs> There's no way this guy connects, right? I was like, wow, they're really... Yep. <sighs> okay, cool. They, we got we got two off them. <laughs> All right, that wasn't terrible. Oh, look. They did it. Fantastic. <laughs> they're living the dream.
Oh, that's pretty good. It's another three legendary creatures in a row, just to be clear, is what we've drawn. I only have one red. I need a second red, so I do have to play the mountain. Interesting. If I had one removal spell. Hmm. Engineer. That's unfortunate. Wish I had another red source. So you're taking seven and going to two. I got a bounce shield right here. <laughs> okay, or we'll just go to three, I guess. Wow, they're just gonna take the two? <sighs> Weird. I mean, the tempo from putting me back, that's wild to me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mountain, huh? Did I play a land? No. One, two, three, six, seven. I mean, Dark Depths would be funny because we actually have Caracas. I mean, we don't have Thespian Stage, so. I mean, they can bounce one of our creatures, triple block the other. It's not really, this is kind of academic, to be honest. I feel like our deck performed better in the second game, but like they just assembled their combo. So what do you get? What are you going to do? Like we literally, we went to dark depths and the exact turn we did that, they got Caracas. So can't do anything there. And then we play, they played Caracas and the next three turns we drew through legendary creatures. Um, so can't do much there. So I don't know. Like sometimes I like to talk about the luck in these situations, but then it's like, God, it's really, it's not, <laughs> It's just pretty bad. We can bounce this. They can bounce this. And then they go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can just play everything again. I'll pass the damage, sure. I actually didn't want these ordered like this, and I, I'm kind of irritated that they ordered them like this. <sighs> That's kind of obnoxious. We're so close. We have eight mana right now. That's hilarious. I don't miss the days when damage used to stack. I think we miss it because like, oh, this is what we're used to when we grow up with this and it makes us cool MTG boomers. But like, realistically, like, it's a completely unintuitive game mechanic. It makes no sense. It's hard to teach. It's hard to like, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, I think a lot of times we say that because it lets us reference that we knew we were like, we've been around since then. And, like, there is some nuanced play to it. Like, it makes you feel kind of smart. But realistically, like, it just doesn't make any sense as a mechanic. Like, I remember learning about damage stacking, and I was like, what? Why? That doesn't make any sense. 
so the damage is locked in and then I can do something and then my like my I can bounce my creature and the damage still happens. Like what? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. You guys ready to draw Zerta with Triplica Titan? A legendary creature? Phyrexian Dragon Engine. What do we think? How many counter spells do they have? Let's find out. Interesting. Surprisingly, not a legendary creature. I mean, I'm sure they're just going to brazen borrow this or something. Some nonsense. Yep, here we go. Shark Typhoon. Seems good. A quality hit. I mean, I also feel like this deck is unlike anything I've drafted before, so, like, I really can't complain. Oh, Zerta's in the trash can. I actually don't know how that happened. How did these guys get in the garbage? Oh, they thought Sigurd oh, like to us, and they hit Zerta and Ugin. That's interesting. I wonder why. Are they just end step this end stepping that? Oh, it was the that was my end step. Wow, that's really good. I was like, oh, cool, you're you're tapped out now. That's good. Now I get to go do something. No, just kidding. It was their it was their end step, you see. Just that guy, huh? Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. My turn and you did nothing and I drew a fantastic, fantastic little mountain. And they have no legendary creatures, so that's good. Remember back in the day when we had Massacre Girl and then we got to kill a Lauren and Urtai and a Jace and it felt really good and then they just suddenly drew their, their Thopter combo and then that was the end? And then this turn they get to make one, two, three, four, five, six guys. Yeah, we can't beat that, so I'm just going to concede and stop wasting all of our time, you know? I mean, I think our deck is fine. I don't think it's great. I'm not in love with it. The real end step was the end steps that we made along the end step. That's what I always say. He's never said that in his life. That man's a liar. Maybe. Maybe. All right. Taking names and playing games. The new catchphrase I just came up with. Because it rhymes. You get it? Games and names. They rhyme? fucking brilliant it's fucking brilliant <sighs> I keep getting these hands that are like really in the middle we have a bunch of early stuff and this is not like doing anything I think we gotta ship it I mean this is a keeper cause Ragavan right I think we're keeping the Ugin we can ship the Titan ugh biscuits <laughs> How sad. I think we just play Ragavan, I guess. Uh, like, they're either going to not attack with this guy. Like, I'm just going to... I'm not going to, like... We're not going to dash this guy. I mean, maybe they attack. Maybe they don't have a turn two play. But what are the odds of that? It's like zero, right? And they have to also, like, not play another guy. Come on, man. Hmm, we could do that. Just kill this guy, let them draw a card in Ragavan. That's kind of funny. And then next turn we get the One Ring. I don't... I, God, I really... I, I shouldn't like it, but I really don't hate it. It's not correct, right? Is it correct to kill this guy and then attack? 
Because they didn't have anything this turn. Whatever, man. It's Ragavan, bro. Okay. Wow, that's great. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm just going to attack then. If we're trading with Atlanta or Elf, that's fine. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, now our one ring resolves. That's pretty okay. Well, theoretically. Interesting. I guess they didn't play the last turn because of Mana Link. That makes sense. Oh, Lelia. Oh, the Blade Reforged. I think we're just going to do that since we can. Goblin Welder. Okay. Or Engineer, rather. <laughs> I agree. Mana Lake does feel good. Like, they could have drawn a card. All we were getting was a treasure because we clearly couldn't cast anything we hit. And we already played our land for the turn, so. You know. Leak away, my good man. Look how good these lands look. I mean, I want to brag about my own land choices, but these are some beautiful looking lands. This is like one of my favorite lands because it's such a high concentration of red, but there's so many variations of red that like, it's all red, but you can tell the different mountain ranges within the, like there's like one, two, three, four, five, six. There's like nine different mountain ranges in this art. John Avon's a fucking master. They're thinking about the best way to kill this 4-4 Lelia. That's a good way to do it. So they either double block here or block with the chariot, huh? Huh. Is that good? Is that what we want them to do? Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, like, I think the forests are not super popular. They're kind of weird looking. But... I appreciate the different preferences of basic lands people have. This is a good play. I think we're just, I think we're just one ringing. Oh, a little, a little D depths. Depths. I think we do just attack here. If they want to double block, that's fine. They're very likely going to just, they're going to crew the chariot. We wouldn't have played this anyway because we wanted to play one ring here, so that's fine. Like if they crew chariot and block them, we don't, oh, this is actually just fine. We don't really have a great way to deal with chariot. And if they don't do this, they're probably just going to attack with 4-4 Chariot next turn, and we don't get to profitably block then. So they just get a free 2-2, and we take... No, we don't take anything, but... It's still nice to trade our 3-3 with their 4-4. That's only a 4-4. Mostly on their turn. Because then these cats don't do shit, you know? <laughs> the binder with the sleeve lands. <laughs> Ah, your, your selection, sir. What vintage would you like? Mmm, a fine year. Yeah, okay. Till my next turn, so this doesn't even matter. Yeah, that's fine. Also, they missed a land drop there. But they found one there. So now they can play... Nissa, who shakes the earth... Olive and Wild Oddity, sure. I'll take a point. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. You know what? That's probably gonna do something. Let's draw some cards though. Spell bomb. 
Stage. Spell bomb. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Mom. S -s -s Spell bomb. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, might as well. Oh, we don't want to draw a card. We're good on cards. Might as well kill this guy, right? It's unexciting, but eh, it's a living. Dude, the One Ring is a fucking bananas card, man. At the point where you've drawn six total cards, you've only taken three damage. I don't actually want to draw here. Well, we're going to take three instead of two. What is this? Four, five, six. We go to five. We take two. Is it seven? We go to four. Is it worth going to three instead of four? They can't transform this without another two mana. But at that point, we're just dead anyway. Because it's 11. I guess we can flip this. Yeah, sure. What the hell? Don't be stupid. One, two, three, four, five. We can actually play Masquerel, but then we can't activate Ugin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can't do that either. We're just going to pass here. Masquerel also doesn't kill anything on the board, so. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, now we actually have to Thespian Stage to block. That's pretty good. Oof. Oof, magoof. And I guess we just have to cross our fingers. They don't have instant speed bounce. All right. Well, now they have one blue source and four mana. So that's a little bit better. This is nine. We got a block four. We take three, four, four. Oh, we just went. Okay, great. <laughs> I mean, they should have made us activate, right? We would have. Because otherwise we die. But, you know. Let's bring in Damnation. That seems pretty good. And our deck doesn't seem terrible. I don't really think it's that bad. A lot of people are going to tell me it's terrible. That's fine. I, I respect your opinion. Take out Spellbomb. I do wish we had like that Ember's Shieldbreaker. It would have been great in the past two matches. Um, Zerda and Grim Monolith? Yeah, this is a keeper. I think it's just turn two Zerda. Or turn two, turn two Greaves. Into Zerda. Equip. Ch -ch -ch Cherry Bomb. Oh, good. A Mox Ruby. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Let's go red. Greavies. What's it gonna be? They said no. How did they kill the Greaves last game? What was it? Actually, I think it was, I think I'm thinking of the other match. What was Lorien? Or, oh, cool. <laughs> not Lorien, what's it called? La La what's, it, what's that card called? It's not Lorien. I'm thinking of Lorien Revealed, but it's, uh, what's her name? Oh, that's, that's probably better. I mean, come on. That's got to be better, right? God, it's always a land. And it, you always got to play your land to cast this Lelia. Lauren, not Lorian. Lauren. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Appreciate you, Zombub. Love, I lo you love seeing the time walk that, that doesn't actually draw them a card. Or doesn't actually do anything other than draw them a card, rather. All right. Also, I just realized that Blood Crypt did not did not table. Very aggressive. Got it. They had to hit a land, right? No. What? Why you didn't hit a land? You drew like four cards. <laughs> 
Well, let's not play a land because Lord, because of Lelia. Always yield to that guy. We don't. We got. Oh, all right. I think we're probably just playing Hangar back here. Wait, can we do the thing? Let's see. We go Grim Monolith. One, one, two for Grim Monolith. Add three. Red already have one left. No, we're one shy of doing the thing. Right? One, two for Grim. Make three. Red, no, we, no, we have it. We have it. Now we use two to untap, make the infinite mana. This is going to take a while. Oh boy, we're going to have a good time. One, two. One, two, one, two. 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 Man, Hangerback Walker was a good hit here, you know? It's unfortunate we're only making one at a time, because it's kind of... <laughs> I feel like we're going to make... a 10-10, I guess? Maybe just an 8-8. I think it's fine as an 8-8. Now we'll do one more, which will tap the monolith. Yeah, 10 10's good, right? And then I want the monolith untapped so I don't have to invest mana into it next turn. Cherry bomb! <sighs> I don't know what they could do to beat that. I guess they could just blink it or like bounce it, but. You know, that doesn't deal with the other two guys or the infinite mana that we're making. Okay, we win that game too. All right, well, that went a lot, that went a lot better. All right, Spellbomb just seems unimpressive in your opener, you know? <laughs> what can you do? Uh, I still think we can keep this hand. Pirate just draws us a card, which is fine. We have good mana. We're playing against Harl's, Harl's Barkley. A classic. We can also kill this guy with a Pyrite Spellbomb. We can also just Fatal Push this guy. Which I feel like it's hard to pass up when they've mulled to six, you know? You don't want to give them three access to three colors and one little guy. Oh. What does that do? Not much. Not much at all. 
We'll just play Spell Bomb and probably sack it here. Played Factory, because if we really don't have anything else going on, we can... Yeah, that's fine. Bitter Triumph. Oh, boy. How many lands are in? There's only 16 actual lands in this deck. That We can play that just as a thing, but it doesn't really do much. It just gives Neg 1 to Neg 1 to this guy. We actually have 1, 2, 3, 4... Four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six mana this turn. With all your strength. Um I I think we just thespian stage here. Like if we hit Dark Depths, we just have a Dark Depths. Okay, so we know they have Bitter Halfling, which is not the name of a card. There is no Bitter Halfling, okay? Well, you've given me Mishra's Thespian and Ancient Tomb. You've given me all the cool lands so far. Just give me Dark Depths and we're good to go. Oh man, if they had a 1-1 still, Massacre Girl would be bananas. One... Oh, we can just go get it with Golos now, can't we? One, two, three, four, five. Oof. We're not going to have enough to keep it up, though. We're one shy. If we go Ancient New and Mana Crypt, that's four. This is five. Then we only have these two up, so we can't actually activate this turn. Still seems like the correct play, though. Especially because we know they have Bitter and they're getting Halfling. That seems pretty good. Mm, yeah, I, I guess that's probably the best possible choice we can make here. I wonder what he's going to get. Hmm. This guy. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Like if they don't have it in hand, they're already locked into it with Oracle. So deep cavern bat. That gives you a turn. <laughs> okay. Mox Pearl. Got it. Okay. That seems fine. Bat is gone. So now we know you have Bitter, Halfling, and you're drawing Mox Pearl. Tails. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, boy. So we're just going to go red. This guy, Lelia. There's no reason just not to play the 3-3 three, three and get in there. Ooh, look at that guy. Unfortunately, he will not be getting cast this turn. One, two, activate. Bitter Triumph just destroys, right? They can't, like, get around Marit Lays with the Bitter Triumph, right? So, like, we're going to make it. They're going to draw Mox Pearl, and then they're going to die, right? Unless they have one secret card in their hand. Because the other hand is Bitter Triumph, Delighted Halfling, and they're drawing Mox Pearl. So unless I'm crazy. And you got a forest. And a land of War Elf. And they're not at 20, so I don't see how they're getting out of this one, champ. Yep, Pearl. Unless they had the exact answer in hand. That's our last card. Nissa. That's not the answer. So we know you have Bitter and Halfling and you're drawing Elf. Okay. 
Yep. This is interesting what you're doing. So your hand is bitter ordeal. Bitter triumph? Bitter triumph. Okay. I found this on the web. Oh my Oh get out of here. Oh I guess they're I guess they have deep cavern about to block. Sure. The Lage. Tails. What? Tails never fails, and then it failed. Oh, that's see, that's a good draw. Goodbye, little bat. I mean, they're drawing Lana War Elves. I don't know what they could have. They don't have any draws. There's no cards that draw them cards. You know? You know what I'm saying? We're going to bring a Damnation again. Pirate Spell actually seems pretty good. They have Oracle. Uh, it's basically just a shock, right? It's a two-mana shock. They have Oracle, um, Delighted Halfling, Ignoble Hierarch, Lana War Elves. Also, we have Massacre, Massacre Girl and Damnation, both of which seem insane. I'm actually not sure what to cut. Like, this actually seems pretty good. Um, uh, actually, Ragavan might be the cut. He's just not getting through very, very much of the time. He's also a small creature. I think we keep this hand. We have turn two Hangerback. We do have a Damnation and an Engineer. Engineer can sack Hangerback to get whatever he puts in the graveyard. Also, Damnation could just be bananas. Okay. Would like another black source. Turn to engineer into hangerback, sacrifice hangerback to get a three drop back would be nice. That's pretty good. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Well, we are missing those crucial lands. Yes. We get something that we can put into the graveyard off of hangar back. Or put into put into play off of hangar back. It might just be mana crypt. We do need a land to do whatever we're trying to do next turn. Yeah, I mean mana crypt is literally just a <laughs> a cheaper grim monolith, right? This is a quiet chat for so many people. Everybody's falling asleep. I mean, if we can just get to Damnation and Massacre Girl, man, I think we're gonna be do. I think we're gonna be doing just fine. And that is fine. I will not be blocking. <sighs> Courser of Crucifix. Free Marsh Flats and a Grave Titan coming up. Okay. Okay, don't like that. But I guess we do have that damnation card. Oh, beautiful. That was a that was a good hit. Um Yeah, so we can just go one, two, hanger back for one. Is it only as a sorcery? Uh, return an artifact card from anybody through us. No, so we can just keep that up and do it like 
in a little bit, you know? We can block and then do it. That seems fine. Yeah, that actually gives us everything we need. Oh, Titania is interesting. So they have Grave Titan into Titania. I mean, also, if we end up killing their halfling, like, their mana gets a lot worse. But if they play Titania, then they get their flats back. Block three. I mean, it's going to be sad if they, like, wreck sage this, but at the same time, like, we can just sack this guy to get it back, so it's, like... Hangerback's kind of, like, the one of the better creatures you can sacrifice to do this, because it just keeps doing the thing. Which just a stupid creature. <laughs> sure, dude. Oh boy. Yep, of course. <laughs> Why would it be a land? I mean, we could play Monolith. Oh, what up, always on top? Um, I don't think we want to do anything here. I think we just want them to play Titania. They have two cards. One is Grave Titan, right? So we can actually Basalt Monolith, not play anything. And then Damnation next turn. Take a little damage. Sure, fingers crossed that they just Titania. The problem is they have two big threats, both Titania and... So I guess they, actually we can Massacre Girl. And that would probably, the one damage would not actually kill anything, unfortunately. So now that doesn't work. Oh, Primeval Titan. Okay, well, if I guess if they're just going to hit all the hits... I mean, I guess if their deck is just going to hand them guy after guy. I guess they just don't have a fifth land, though, so. Oh, they already, they do have a fifth land because they have this, Why? Right? Oh, they're going to play Titanius, but they're going to, yeah, okay, great. Yeah, the 1-1 one -one Thopter would have been great. It would have hit 1-1. One -one. Oh, wait, they don't have a card in their graveyard. Oh, this is actually kind of a beating. Oh, man. I'm not going to block because if I get a mana, I actually am, I get to do something cool. We get to go, if we hit like a red or a black source, we can go tap the Basalt Monolith, sacrifice it for like a mana crypt. Yeah, no sack to play Titania is, is pretty weird. 
I, I agree with you, Aaron. <laughs> Completely. I mean, I'm just going to 10 here. And they're two mana away from both Primeval Titan and this, but they draw two cards. So that's... That's awkward. Red or black source. Fantastic. <laughs> okay. What are our options here? So we can't play Ragavan. We can't play any any colored card that has double requirements in it. But we also have to tap this to Damnation, which is pretty awkward. If we play Massacre Girl, it doesn't actually kill anything because the Thopter's gone. Thopter would have wiped the board, which would have been perfect. But now we're in a situation where, like, if we Damnation, they draw two cards because of Skull Clamp. I mean, actually, what we can do is, oh, we can't Ragavan and hit. Or I'm like, we could Ragavan and try to hit something. And then I'm like, oh, they have Titania. I honestly don't hate Ragavan for, for, Massacre, for Massacre Girl. That actually seems almost better. Oh boy. One, two, one, two, three. Very tempted to, 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 to Lelia here and try to hit a land. And if they want to block with Titania, that's totally fine. I think that feels correct. And if we don't hit a land, we can still play Ragavan. Goblin Welder? Come on. That might be better. Actually, that's just a fine... That's just a fine gentleman we can play. Of course, this is now tapped, so that's awkward, but... What we can do is sack this to bring back Mana Crypt next turn. We still just need a colored land. I think we're just, like, one colored land away from actually doing very well here. Ramunap. Okay. So no Ramunap. Let's see what you get. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Rot Farm. All right. And they're just going to play that, so I don't even know why I clicked it. So another hand is Grave Titan and Primeval Titan. Two Titans. They played Rot Farm. Bouncing... I, I don't know. I guess they don't show us. And Nissa on top. <sighs> yeah, I feel like we just have drawn... Like, this is the one game we've drawn, like, too few lands. Oh, but if they actually play, like, a Grave Titan here, it's actually pretty good for us, I think. We can Massacre Girl kill everything. Yeah, all right. I think they're just deciding Grave Titan or Primeval Titan. And then we just Damnation the other when they play. <laughs> Why would you do that? What? That's hilarious. That is the sketchiest play I could think of. Uh, that's shocking to me. Wow. Ancient Tomb. Grim Monolith. <laughs> Triplicate Titan. All right, let's just go to the next game where we actually have lands, maybe. Fantastic. It did. It, it definitely felt a little weird. I mean, I guess they... I mean, they're dealing a lot of damage, though, and they're putting us... We're like, we've been on the back foot the entire game. I don't think I like Pyrokinesis. We only have, like, six red cards in the deck, so I'm not really... <laughs> Super stoked on that. Jeez. 
Jesus, really? Dark Depths one land? Come on, dude. Sure. Can put Golos back here. Actually, Golos gets us Dark Depths. That's pretty good. We have zero black sources. I guess we just put back Shieldred. <sighs> no, if we hit any black, we just get to Magma. Magda. Yeah, I want to put back Baleful Mastery here. I think these cards are kind of crucial to getting us lands. Mana, I guess. Well, if nothing else, we went one, two, you know? I'm trying to acclimate myself to the disappointment. Really? But I have the thing on the board. I mean, I do feel like I have to kill this. <laughs> Even though, like, oh, goodness gracious. Because, like, they just go turn three Dryad or Courser. Both of which are pretty bad. Although if we play Thespian Stage, next turn we can hit a Dark Depths, <laughs> use Magda. Uh, are we just living that dream? Yeah, let's just live that dream, I guess. I mean, if they play Delighted Halfling into Spellball, maybe they want it. Maybe they're asking for a kill, you know? Wasteland. <laughs> Are they giving us a turn to do it? What? Draw Dark Depths. Punish them. <gasps> Whoa, buddy boy. <laughs> oh, Ooh, that's a bingo. <laughs> oh man, that was a punish. You know what? I'll trade with you. Yeah, you got it. So we have to do it now, right? If we do it in response to anything, they just kill it. Like once we go to do it, they just wasteland the thespian stage. So like the fact that they're tapped out now is like, we have to do it now. Oh my God. <laughs> You have a wasteland on board and you lose to Dark Depths. Can't make this shit up, man. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.